Okay, so we're just going to go over the difference of the uh, reusable kit. Some sites such as HSC use this kit. Um, so just to go over the, the similarities and differences between this and your student disposable kit. So it's pack packaged uh, very similarly. You're going to open it the same way. So away from you and then side, side, and then towards. And what you'll see at the top is a garbage bag. That's actually a paper garbage bag, but same idea. We'll set it up wherever it makes sense um, on the patient's end of their bed, etc. And then the there's a white inner packing um, that you sort of have to untuck the sides of, um, but you'll see there's a, a flap there, and you're, that's your one inch, and you're going to lift that, and then there's a one inch you can grasp there. Uh, and then at the top, it's always packed with a sterile green towel and the scissor forceps that lock so these are good to kind of play around with beforehand but because you can actually lock them they're a lot more sturdy so this is the same as your disposable sterile drape you may need it if you're dressing change you may find you don't and you can just put it aside so we'll just put that aside for now um, the other items in the kit are the uh, forceps um, and again they're a lot more sturdy because they are re-sterilized and repackaged two different types of forceps and then you always have scissors which is really handy if you're cutting packing strips, etc., uh, and then a sterile med cup. So the med cup is for your sterile solution that you may be cleaning with. Uh, just a tip, what I like to do with this kit is not free pour with the cup just on the table because it does tend to get tipped over. So I tend to grab it with my forceps and then fill it with my hand sealant. Often the med cup isn't squished like this one. This one's just been packed for a while. So there you go. And I count the white part as my sterile field and that's where my one inch border um, is there. And you can kind of even see it with the folds. You can adjust here so you can see better. Um, but you'll also notice with this type of kit, there's not uh, gauze added to it. So just kind of a heads up to remember to bring the supplies that you need. Um, and then you're adding it to the kit in the same fashion, either by opening it away and then dumping it on the kit or into the field rather, or opening it and passing it to yourself using your forceps and then just adding it that way. Um, so those are sort of the main differences. One other difference I like to highlight um, is that you'll see with our disposable kits, um, you, you don't want to get the kit wet at all or the sterile field wet at all. This one you also don't necessarily want to get it wet, but I do just want to demonstrate that it's a little more permeable, impermeable rather, to water. Um, the water doesn't actually soak through, so it can actually get little drops on it and it's not as big of an issue as with the disposable kits where it absorbs uh, the microorganisms say through the table so just kind of a neat uh, thing to see so that's the primary differences but your principles again all remain the same